Hi, and welcome to another Revenue Edition of Johnny on the Spot. My name is Snoop Johnny Lyon, coming to you here from Chicago tonight to talk about Chick-fil-A and gay. Now, the owner of Chick-fil-A, Dan Cathy, came out and said that he's for traditional marriage. That's marriage between a man and a woman for the family unit. He's against gay marriage, and all Chick-fil-A's across the country close on Sunday to allow employees to go to church. So Chicago has a couple of Chick-fil-A's. Mayor, excuse me, Emperor Rahm Emanuel came out and said that Chick-fil-A's values are not Chicago's values. Well, thanks for speaking for us, Rahm. We have no individual thoughts of our own. We're just animatronic robots listening to whatever you say. Anyway, he sided with First Ward Alderman Joe Moreno, who said that Kathy's remarks are bigoted against gays and he'd use his authority to kill any Chick-fil-A in the Northwest Side, truly in the spirit of Chicago. So while Rahm and his merry band of henchmen act as thought police, Mike Huckabee put together Chick-fil-A Appreciation Day on Facebook, had 600,000 likes and supporters who said they would go, and go they did. I went out to Lombard, to the Chick-fil-A out there. There were cars as far as the eye could see. There were three cars deep going into the drive through The place was just madness. There was lines out the door, and I asked people a bunch of stuff. Tom Cruise, Chick-fil-A or not Chick-fil-A? Oh boy, I'd have to say... Come on. Not Chick-fil-A. I, I, I kind of think so. He's on the other team? He's been married to some beautiful women, and for some reason it doesn't work out. What was the thing that got you guys? Was it Mike Huckabee saying to come? What Rahm Emanuel said, we actually don't believe that he said anything wrong. He has a right um, not to agree with the lifestyle, and, and he didn't come out against anyone. I, he was exercising his First Amendment right. Right. And um, I agree with what he said, so I'm here to support. So it's all about the First Amendment. We're really here to support the First Amendment. The First Amendment. The right to free speech and the right, right to practice our freedom of religion, amen. correct? Amen. Amen and amen. amen. Can I have an amen? Amen. Huh? Amen. Come on, I'm preaching here, baby. Jesus is Lord. I have no idea what this means. we got a Mitt Romney a little sticker in the back of his thing. Okay. With a with a Cuba hat. So are you here to support Mr. Uh, Dan Cathy, the CEO of? Yes, uh, we are. Right. And yes. what are you here to support him more, or because you're upset at what Mr. Rahm Emanuel? No, we're right? here supporting a man's right to his opinion and his belief, and uh, it's good to see a man stand up right. for his belief and stick to his guns and not back down when the big boys uh, start to bully you. you. Might see that on Nightline tonight. Secret ingredient in Chick-fil-A to keep people from being gay. The gayest movie ever, uh, Brokeback Mountain or Top Gun? Um, I, I saw La Caja Faux. La Caja Faux, very that. gay? I like that, yeah, I like that. Okay, yeah, 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 that's yeah. pretty gay. Yeah, yeah. Now, do you think if more people ate Chick-fil-A, that less people would be gay? No, no. Now that was funny. Gayest movie ever. Top Gun or Brokeback Mountain? Brokeback. Did you did you see Brokeback? Of course. You did? Yes. Wow, you saw like two cowboys making out? Yeah, it was amazing. The best scene I've ever seen in a movie. Really? And you're less than, you're 15, how old were you? Like 12, 11 years old? About 12. When you saw that movie? Yeah. Wow. I just can't quit you, baby. I can't quit no. you. What? I think that people should just have the, have the opportunity to say what they believe and, and not be ridiculed about what they say. If you right. say something, when I was younger, if you said something, if you said A, it was always A. But now if you say B, it's no longer A, and if you're on A, you're, you're, you're terrible. You're, you're against the country. What if you say C? Well, then you're... Well, then you're screwed. You don't know what to say anymore. No matter what you say, it, it, it just seems as though everything that used to be right and traditional, as they say, is now wrong, and if you're traditional and you want certain things a certain way, then you're the problem. Black is white and white is black. Gray is up is down and down yeah. is up. So if you don't know what to think anymore. You don't know what to say. Have you ever heard of the song YMCA? Yes. Can you sing it for me? YMCA. So you know the dance. Do it for me. Do it. YMCA. Take a rub and YMCA. Tom Cruise, Chick-fil-A or not Chick-fil-A? <laughs> this logo doesn't really look gay, but if you really wanted to analyze it, it could be a, uh, uh, it looks like a spermatozoa, possibly, 
with a crown on top of it. what do you think about the term homophobe you are homophobic? to me that's offensive um i have family members that are in that lifestyle i love them i i love who they are so you're you're not in you're not afraid of homosexuals i would spend time with my cousin and not have a problem right but you just disagree with the lifestyle or the marriage aspect I disagree with the lifestyle and um, especially I feel like it's an attack on the family to me my fam you know the family unit is so important and vital to right. society and to have it attacked I don't feel like it's a healthy environment um, to well it's just opening a door to all sorts of do you think Dan Cathy puts uh, ingredients in his food to make people uh, uh, flip from being gay to heterosexual? No. <laughs> There's no secret recipe like Colonel Sanders? <laughs> There's one recipe. That's Jesus. So that's all I got. Put your comments in the comment section below. I know you're going to have a lot of thoughts on this. You know, Mike Huckabee, the Facebook thing, Rahm Emanuel's comments, the First Amendment to the Constitution, freedom of religion. Are you gay? Do you think, are you going to go to the gay protest on Friday? There's going to be one of those. There's going to be a kiss in. Or are you going to go to Chick fil A's and all the I'll show up like maybe if Britney and Madonna are there. How about that? And they're just lip locked. I can think of a couple others, but we won't go into that right now. So please put your comments in the comment section below. I'd appreciate it. And until next time, See ya.